A month or so ago I stumbled upon this really interesting tweet from a DataViz enthusiast named Tom Ash. He's a Tableau public ambassador and let's just say he's on Team Blue instead of Team Black and Yellow. But hey, when it comes to DataViz, it's always worth checking out what others are up to, right? So in his post, Tom Ash talked about something pretty awesome, creating a guided tour inside a report. And honestly, that's a game changer for all report consumers out there. You know, having a guided tool can make the whole data exploration process way smoother and more enjoyable. Now, in today's video, I'm going to share some tips with you on how to create a guided tour in Power BI. It's going to be super helpful, trust me. Plus, I'll be talking about all the great benefits this addition can bring to your reports. Alright, let's talk about the tools we'll be using for this adventure. First, we will need some demo data from Power BI. It's like our starting point for the whole thing. Then we will work with PowerPoint. Yeah, you heard me right. It's going to be instrumental in creating this amazing guided tour. Last but not least, we will need a good dose of imagination. After all, that's where the magic happens, right? Are you ready? Let's start with the intro. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you to learn more about Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please start by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons so you wouldn't miss my Power BI videos. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. Let's say that you have done an amazing job creating a report that answers all the burning business questions. That's awesome, but what's next? Now you got to get people on board and actually using the report, right? In other words, drive adoption. So how do you make that happen? Here's how I do it. On the first week of Go Live, I schedule three sessions. Then in the following two weeks, it's two sessions per week. After that, one session each for week three and week four. Oh, and I don't stop there. I also make sure that newbies to the business or to the report get a chance to get familiar with it. So I organize monthly sessions that work as a refresher courses for all users. It's a great way to keep everyone in the loop and up to date. Now, hold on, I know what you're thinking. Too many trainings can eat up a lot of your precious time, right? That's why we need to find a balance and encourage some self-learning and self-exploration. And here's the deal, a guided tour highlighting the most important bits and pieces of the report is one of the best ways to achieve that. It's like taking your users on a virtual adventure through the report, making their exploration interactive and their experience so much better. You know what, let me show you what the final tour looks like and then we can build one together. Let's switch over to my PC. Here we are diving into the Contoso Regional Sales Sample Report. It's one of those curated reports by Microsoft, packed with all sorts of tricks and tips for report developers. But hey, today we are not going to get into that. Now take a peek at the header section. And what do we have there? An info button right next to the page navigation stuff. Let's not waste time, click into it. Wow, look at that. A super fancy welcome page pops up, showing off the report name, how to exit the tour, and where to click next. It's like a virtual red carpet for our report exploration journey. Moving on, the next page is all about page navigation details, and it gives us the lowdown on what each color means. Pretty neat, right? On the third page, we get to dig into the main KPIs and even uncover some of the secret sauce behind certain measures. And on the last page, I've put a spotlight on how the scenario analysis works on this particular report page. Now, report consumers got choices. Want to go back to the previous page? Just hit the back button. Or if they want to dive straight back into the live report, just click on the door icon. Alright, looking good so far, isn't it? But now you might be wondering, how can we achieve this awesome additional layer in Power BI? Don't worry, I've got some tricks to share with you. So there are a few different ways to get a similar look and feel, but for today's demo, I'm going to rely on PowerPoint. Yep, that's right, we'll create some images in PowerPoint and then we will use them for the guided tour and set up page navigator buttons in Power BI. If PowerPoint is not your jam, no worries. You can totally create assets in other tools like Canva, Figma, or even Photoshop if you are looking to go all out and get the best looking UI. 
A little side note here, while in today's demo I'll be creating individual report pages with static images, you can actually make these tools super flexible. How? Well, you can set them up to reflect role level security or slicer selections, making them way more personalized and dynamic. So the main takeaway from today's video is that the sky is the limit and you're free to explore your own ideas and implementation. Okay, enough of me, let's head back to Power BI. First of all, let's start by exporting the live report to PowerPoint as an image. This way we will get a nice, high resolution image with the whole report structure and some key figures. Let's create a new section for it and call it live report. Now we are going to duplicate that slide and add it to a new section called guided tour. Next up we can add some shapes on top of the report image. These shapes will have a black background color with a touch of transparency. Then we will be adding some text to these shapes too, like little signposts guiding our users through the tour. Remember the door you saw in the demo? Yeah, I'm going to create that too. It's going to be our exit door from the guided tour. And to make it look even better, I'll add some curly arrows to the page. Now I'm going to work some editing magic and voila! We got the final version of the presentation all polished and ready to roll. Here are the four slides that will serve as our guided tour in Power BI. But before we move on, let's make sure to click on File, Export and change the file type to PNG. We want the best possible image resolution for this guided tour. Hey, just a quick reminder before we dive deeper into this demo. You have the option to add all of these elements directly to the main report page. But to keep things nice and simple for this demo, I'll be using blank report pages instead. That way it will be super easy for you to follow along. We'll start by importing those images we created to our report pages. On the first guided tour page, I want to give users an easy way to exit from the tour. So I'll add a transparent button. This button will also have a page navigation action set up, directing users back to the sales overview page. If you decide to add these layers to the main report page and want them to follow role level security or slicer selection, you'll need to reference a bookmark. This little trick ensures that certain elements are visible while others remain hidden based on the user's preferences. It's like having a report that caters specifically to each user. Next up, let's add the right arrow button to the bottom section of our guided tour pages. This button will also act as a page navigation action, taking users to the second page of our tour. We just rinse and repeat the process for the other guided tour pages. But wait, there's more. Each of these pages will have a back button too. That way users can easily navigate back to the previous page if they want to revisit something. It's all about making it super user friendly and intuitive. Let me do that quickly. There we go, four dedicated pages that allow our report consumers to dive deep into the report structure, explore those main KPIs, and get the hang of using the scenario analysis section. Nice job! Implementing the guided tool wasn't all that difficult, right? When I saw Tamash's idea about it, I was totally hooked and I immediately added it to my own ideas list. Now, before you rush off to add this fantastic feature to your report, I've got a couple of things to highlight. Our main goal here is to help our users navigate the report. This guided tour idea will not only boost understanding, but also drive better adoption of your report. You can create as many tours as your heart desires. Remember, whether you are on Team Power BI or Team Tableau, the ultimate goal is to create reports that make it a breeze for users to answer business questions and cut through all the analytics noise. With that said, it's time for your questions and comments. If you got any queries or want to share your own implementation with others, just drop them in the comment section below. I would love to hear more about your ideas on this topic. As you stay till the end, I'm sure you like this video, so please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons and make sure to watch more of my tutorials, like these ones above me. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.